Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. This is the continuity of NSXT video series. In my previous video, I have given you an overview about the playlist of NSXT video series as you can see on the screen as well. This is from the last video. So now this is the time to start the actual drama. So let's jump into the step one which is high level design of nested lab. If you look at the diagram, I have two options here. I can set up this environment either with the physical infrastructure or I can also go ahead with the virtual, virtual router. So in this lab, this is how it looks like in my physical environment. I have one bare metal server. On top of that, I am running hypervisor. And on top of that, I have installed my four virtual machines which are which will pretend as a physical server in an SXT environment these are four virtual machine which is running ESXi 7.0 then I have configured two two port groups which are connected to distributed NSXT switch this is the name of the switch which I have created in in the lab, I'll show you in a while. I'm using VMNIC 3 for external connectivity. Obviously, you can use uh, more uplinks for it and to achieve the redundancy. And then my physical switch is connected to the physical router. So this model you can adopt if you are going for actual deployment. But if you wanted to test these scenarios, so you don't need to have this virtual sorry the physical switch and the router you can achieve the same functionality by having csr 1000 virtual router so in the lab i will use both options initially i will go ahead with the csr virtual router then for advanced networking and routing i will go ahead with both options then i will use virtual router and physical router both to achieve the redundancy and I will show you how you can connect it and how it works. The, on the right hand side you can see the rear view of my physical server it has four NICs I am using the last one which is number four the same NIC will represent in ESXi as a VM NIC 3 the reason behind it in VMware environment VMNIC start from 0 and in the physical it start from 1 so VMNIC 4 uh, NIC 4 is equal to VMNIC 3 so my NIC 4 is connected with a physical switch on gigabit 0 slash 1 and then fast ethernet 0 slash 1 connected to my physical router although this is not part of the lab but you can use the same scenario for actual deployment Obviously, you need to add multiple links to achieve the redundancy. So, this is how I have configured my switch. Gigabit 0 slash 1, which is this interface, is configured as a trunk. The fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 is also configured as a trunk because I am using sub interfaces on my physical router. Along with that, I have configured some VLANs on the same switch. So far, I'll just demonstrate you about the management VLAN, which is VLAN 10. As you can see here, I have configured sub interface for VLAN 10. VLAN 10 I will use for the management. VLAN 20 I will use for overlay traffic. 30 for edge. 40 I will use for some other purposes, might be you can use it in future. VLAN 60 I will use to test the connectivity where I will connect my endpoints and laptop and a system. VLAN 98 and 99 I will use for load balancing or for high availability purpose like PR is referring to physical router. Uplink 1 and physical router uplink 2. 
the same thing i will configure on my virtual router i'll i'll show you in upcoming series how it looks like so this is it for now regarding the physical environment so i'll see you in the next video where i will show you how you can configure your nested environment for is it not for this is it for now keep watching stay tuned see